Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome, lightweight couples travel trailer that gives you an outside kitchen. This is the 2023 Coachman Apex Ultralight Model 251RBK. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're giving you three things we love about the Apex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. to another video again today i am super excited that we are taking a look at this ultra lightweight couples travel trailer the apex before i begin gotta say hi to will hey will hey guys wrapping up the day today we are guys it's cooling down slightly no it's not, not. it is four degrees cooler than the last one there you go uh, but we got the ac going strong in this one and hopefully it's cool on the inside yes sir and well this is an awesome ultra lightweight travel trailer perfect for couples yes let's begin model is the apex 251 rbk actual tip tip length is 29 feet long the dry weight is 5106 pounds and the hitch weight is 570 pounds remember always use weight distribution bars right here we do have a very nice power tongue jack up here your propane tanks go here your batteries spare tire spare tire carrier Right here we have a very nice molded fiberglass front cap. I love the windshield. You got LED lights and your diamond plate rock guard here. Yep. Now right here you can see that we do have very nice pass-through storage. Yep. Coming on down we have a huge power awning with LED lights and solid steps right here. Nice. Now one thing I love about Coachman Will is the fact that they have the Aluma Cage construction and Asdell for the sidewalls. Asdell is a green based material. Oh. Asdell will never. Asdell is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you. There Will, you go. the sun rays are getting me. I hear you. Nice grab handle here. Right there is your water heater. And then here is pro. Um, power. Power and coax for a TV for the outside. And then look at these tires. Well, they're Castle Rocks. I love these. ST205 75. R14, very nice. Speakers on the outside and on the inside, that's where your dinette is, and you have a good view to the campsite. Nice. Then this is, this is what makes this unit, well, a rear bathroom couples coach with an outside kitchen. And that's a great outside kitchen, too. It really is, but don't give me your attitude. I don't have an attitude. No attitude. Oh, uh, <laughs> that's your other cameraman. Oh, wow, look at this. We have a very nice refrigerator. And it's ice cold. Did you hear me? I did, yes. <laughs> right there, we do have storage there. Nice uh, sink right there. Well, I plead the fifth on that one. I know. You're, you know. I'm in trouble now, huh? Yes, sir. Right here is a little cooktop. It's talking about Tom Bennett. Ah, there you go. Very yeah. good. Right there, Sir William, is a nice little cooktop as well. Very awesome outside kitchen. Coming around, we do have a very nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. The spare tire, spare tire carrier was uh, up front. It is prepped for the Voyager backup camera there. Also, you can see that it is the manual stabilizing jacks. Not a big deal for a unit like this. Right. Right over here, 30 amp unit. That AC is blasting in there. Yes. City water connection, very nice black tank flush right there. I love how they show that it's orange so you don't make that mistake. And there's your coax and here is where you dump your black and gray tank. Very nice. Yes, sir. Finishing up, watch your step around here. Okay. Right here we do have an outside shower. Nice. Yes, sir. And then here is where you fill up your fresh water, your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And then here's the other side. And I forgot to mention a very nice slay and latch door. Nice. Well, well, the outside of the Apex looks great, but the insides look even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check out the inside. Okay. Okay, starting up front, nice bedroom up here. 
You got the dining area, living area here, kitchen right there, and bathroom in the back right here. Yes, sir. Well, we're going to start up front first. Let's give a big shout out to Lipper. Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lipper Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. And we're back, Will. So first, actually, I'm starting right here. Okay. We're not gonna close the doors to the bedroom because it's, even though the AC's on, it's still 100 degrees. Yeah. Um, but once both doors close, this inner TV entertainment center swivels around so you can watch TV in the bedroom area. Nice. It's kind of cool. Um. Right over here, we do have a very nice queen size bed. Okay. It fits snug as a bug in a rug. Very nice big front windshield. And then look at all this storage. It's going to be the same over on this side here. Yes, very yeah. nice. You got little end tables on both sides. Great place to put your cell phones. Power? I don't see any power over here. None over. Oh, but there okay. is power USB, in USB here. And USB C right here. Okay. Yeah, but still, that's still a pain in the butt. I wish the power was actually I into know. the wall. Yeah, I agree. Single AC unit, you can put a max air fan here, okay? Okay. And um, and yeah, it's just a small bedroom. And then again, the this does need to both slide out. Right. To um move the TV. And again, the, the main thing is make you know, making sure this unit's at twenty nine feet long, mm -hmm. under thirty feet. Right. Again, the entertainment center's right here. Let's take a look at some of this storage. Okay. Very nice. TV, sound system, DVD player. Again, it does swivel. Power and USB, USB-C right there. And then a little bit of storage underneath here as well. Okay. Again, the Apex is known for being an ultra lightweight travel trailer. Yeah. So a lot of the material you're gonna see is gonna be cheaper material um, to try to make this as big and as lightweight as possible. For sure. Really nice storage right there. Transparent glass doors. Very nice. Okay. Nice balances, very neutral looking USB, USB-C right here with these accordion style blinds. And then right here, well, this is a sofa. It does jackknife down. Also the light. That's cool. Out. I kind of like the color too. It's a little bit different. Yes. But not like crazy weird either, you know? Correct. And you know, in a small unit like this, the fact that I can prop up my feet is pretty nice. That is cool, actually. And then let's see. A little bit of storage underneath. Whoops. There, there you, go. you go. And a jack's knife down for your non-paying customers. Hey, nice. And then what is really nice about this unit as well, this is a full wall slide well. Oh, it is, yeah. And when the slide out's in, you can still utilize most of this RV. Right, say, right. It doesn't look like it's taken away too much. Right over here is your controls for your uh, slide out and your awnings. Okay. Really nice cabinetry again above here. Okay. Okay, you got your dinette. The dinette does drop down to make a bed. Again, with that awesome front windshield. Right where you can really see out to your campsite. It looks That's very nice. That's actually really nice, yeah. And then storage there. Oh, storage, yep. Yes. And then the dinette's gonna be, you know, it's actually a pretty wide dinette. It is, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It really does get the job done. And Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. You ready for this? Yeah. MSRP on this ultra lightweight travel trailer is $51,673. Will, MSRP. Okay. Sale price, Miss Jen, 
Please show everybody the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching. And Will, I don't care what that sale price is, I know we can get everybody a lot better sale price than that because we sell a ton of Coachman products. Right. So if you guys are interested, all you have to do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's We've conveniently located it in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us any way you can. Our team is here to help you get the absolute best price in America, not just on this unit, but any RV period. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay. It's a little uh, smaller kitchen, but you still have really good use of space. You got some storage up there, a little bit of countertop space, and some drawers here. Yes. Up top, you got a nice high point microwave here. Oh man, very nice. Yeah, you in the air? Yes. <laughs> Nice Slay. range hood here. Oh, hang on, I'm sorry, say that again. Nice, nice range hood there with yes. lights. Oh, whoops. And then you have a nice three burner, jeez. Three burner Magic Chef cooktop with lights right there. Ooh, and Magic up Chef. In there. And you do have a drawer underneath as well. Yes. Over here, you've got nice storage up top. Right there. Great window that does open up. Nice big single bowl sink right there. You got this. Psh, Marka John Cena. Storage right there. Well, that is so nice. And I just want to give another shout out to Furion right now. Right. Dude, I'm telling you guys, we're sponsored by Furion and Lippert. But there is no doubt about it, Will. What I've learned over the past couple days, these Furion AC units work the best. They really do. Yes, sir. Finishing up, you got some nice pantry space over here. Yes. And another Furion. Oh, yeah. Another Furion cooling device. Do you feel Dude, that? it is freaking <laughs> freezing. Give me a jacket because it's so cold. Right. Nice it actually really fridge. is cold. It is very cold. That's funny. This is a great spot. Oh, look, you can see the ice in here. Well, like the frost, I mean. You see that? Mm. Nice. Feeling good? All right, wrapping up the unit, Will. Oh man. Look at that. They might use Fury on ACs, but they don't use Encore showers. No, they don't. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, the head height in here is really bad and it's radius. This does not pass at all. Nope, you can get on out of there, Will. Okay. Before I break it. Yep. What do we got going on there? Tons of storage up, up top there. Huge. And there. Yes, sir. Looks like, a pla looks like a plastic toilet. Oh, well, man. stand right here. Okay. And you can just reach the camera and that way you get some nice okay. AC flow. I care about you, Will. Thanks. Plastic toilet, womp womp. Will, and if they would have angled it some, it would have been doable for poopable, but this is not a prime pooping position. You can just stick the camera in right here. Okay. See the nice little sink? Nice sink there. Liquefied, our brand of black tank chemical. You can get it at primepoopingposition.com and a nice paired medicine cabinet. Now in pod form as well. Yeah. Thank you everybody who's been buying it. Um, And then right here, here's where you would hang up your towels. Will, that's it, short and sweet. That's the apex. It's kind of weird. It's like a big travel trailer, but we, we did the video relatively fast. We did, yeah. Now before everybody leaves, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we <laughs> love. Yes, Will, number one for me, it's going to be that awesome outside kitchen. Okay. Love that feature. I think that's absolutely fantastic and awesome. That is number one. Will, number two, I am gonna say this dinette area. Okay. It is actually a decent sized dinette, nice big window and everything. And uh, they really accomplished a lot getting the sofa and the dinette in here yeah. under 30 feet. I agree. That's number two. And then, well, do you have a number three? Um, a small one, but yeah. Talk, talk to me. In this bedroom, it's a little tight in here, so I'm so glad they put that front windshield. Yes, sir. It brightens it up, makes it feel so much roomier in there. Perfect. That's three things we love about sure it. Is. Will, now it's time for three things we dislike about this unit. May I? Sure. I do not like the bedroom whatsoever. Yeah. I do not like 
one, the bed touches, right? Yeah. There's no walking around it. And to have a TV, both doors need to be shut mm -hmm. for you to swivel that TV around. That is no bueno whatsoever. I am not a fan of that. Never have been, never will be. Okay. Speaking of, that kind of leads to number two. Not only do you have to turn around the TV, but right here on the sofa, you have to turn your head sideways to look at the TV right, right here as well. Also, something that I'm not a big fan of, they're really killing me here with the TV placement. That's number two, Will. Will, tell everybody what is number three. Number three, I'm gonna kind of combo it. There's not a lot of countertop space in here okay. for prepping and working. And then also that bathroom, you know, the toilet's not in a good position, it's plastic. It's a radius shower and there's no head height. They had so much potential with such a big rear they bathroom did. too. Yeah, yeah. That's what doesn't make much sense to me I whatsoever. Know. But again, well, something that I do want to emphasize, an amazing travel trailer at an amazing size and that an extremely lightweight is fantastic. Yep. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in getting yourself a Coachman Apex or any RV, please go to generalrv.com slash matscast. We've linked everything down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from matsrvreviews.com or call us 844-969-4033. Will, we're done with the day. How do you feel? Feeling good. Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. This is a great lighter weight, smaller travel trailer for couples. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much for you. watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.